Hey, is it possible that you could turn yourself into a cartoon? Hey, it's Grips here, and thanks for joining me as you do. First off, I need to fix my clip up. It looks terrible. It's straight out of the camera. If you've been watching me, I'm using SynStyle. Um, this is a Nikon, so I'm using C-Log. First thing I want to do is remove all this extra in the background, and then I want to improve my colors a bit. So pan and zoom, custom filter. So I'm going to customize that filter. I'm just going to use the zoom ratio. I'm going to push it right here, and then I'm just going to drop and drag it to the bottom slightly. Adjust it again. You can use the nodes here if you want, but I'm just lazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm quite happy with that. I'm gonna right click on this keyframe, copy and paste to all right, so it's consistent, press okay. And now, yep, it's right in frame. So obviously my colors are really flat. So the first thing I wanna do is probably whiten it or brighten the actual image itself. So color tab. And I'm most likely going to use the color wheel. My skin tones are very, relatively close to the marker. And so all I want to do is just brighten everything up a bit. I think that looks fine. And then I'm just going to drop a little filter in there, which I've also shown in my previous video called Dual Booster. So let's see if we can find that. Let me just scale this down so I can really see it. I think it's uh, in here. Where did I put the jewel boost? Oh, there it is. There you go. Should have prepared better, shouldn't I? All right. Now, see how it pops? Look at the reds. It's nice. And I can, if I wanted to, I can go in there and customize that further. But you know what? I'm quite happy with that. Go to your new blue stylizer, and here you'll see Cart Turner Plus. Now, if you don't see this filter, it's because I did the upgrade. I went over and bought the new FX upgrade. If you go into this little here, basically the home page, you'll see the option to upgrade to the new blue. I will also leave a link in my description, and it's called I Turned My Corral Video Studio Into a Beast. And it'll tell you everything you need to know about the new filter. Just let's get moving click drag drop it onto your timeline like so all right so obviously what we can do is we can then go into the fx filter itself and then customize it but before i do that i'm going to go into the essentials i'm going to also grab here the detail enhancer now watch what it'll do it just pops out more of the lines it just gives me i don't know a more of a harsher look i think but here you go so i've popped out more of the lines and now what i'm going to do i'm going to tweak i'm going to tweak the cartoon plus so let's do that and you can really just tweak it to whatever whatever you want okay so here we are in the interface and it's very simple you can also just manually control everything or you can just add what you think is what you're after like you've got a host of little filters here that you can choose from like dense texture and that really makes <laughs> you can see i need a shave you can really have a play around to get what it is that you want and basically the main controls that you want to tweak is the blend rate and how how obvious you want this to be now for those who don't know but new blue works by changing the controls this way if you click inside the semicircle if you go back up or down that's how you control it so you don't really have to sit here with this number i see a lot of guys what they do they start pulling this and they get frustrated against why is not moving because this is how it moves okay and that's with all new blue filters and across all the softwares so here we go. We could just easily just manipulate this to however we want it to look. So I think what I end up doing was uh, reset the none, and I think I just picked something that was uh, relatively soft, and then I went okay. All right, let's see how that looks. Okay, so that was the first one. Now also in my intro, you saw I did a multiple one. So let's go have a look at the multiple ones that I used. Let's do something different instead of just always using a person let's use an object so here i have a coffee cup and i kind of thought this was cool if you're doing a presentation that's predominantly caricature or animation you can drop the charcoal filter on here and you can turn any object that you have also into some type of drawing or animation and again you can have all the options of customizing this let's have a quick preview i think i saw one here that was kind of neat uh, the yellow so now we got the yellow cup of coffee and then you look look you got the the steam coming off and it gives you a really cool effect but let's see what else we can do because i think there's way more than just this filter because i showed you probably about five or six more filters and i think you could even use the color the cartoon plus again as well and let's just quickly apply that so you 
Most people think that the cartoon involves a person, but no, you can make it easily on this. I like that effect. It's now you've got a cartoon looking like cartoon looking coffee. So I think I was playing around with this earlier and I believe I was using this one here. Yeah. So now I've got the different effect again. So this filter comes in so handy in doing different things. You could be telling a story and you could emphasize maybe, I don't know, the heat in the back of the coffee. Who knows? Let's keep going. Now, if you're as old as me and you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you most probably know this one here from Take On Me from AHA. And this was very popular and everybody kept on asking, well, how do you do this effect? Well, that's great news because we can probably mimic very close to this effect. We have the option of using either the hand drawn or the line drawing. So let's look at line drawing first. I think this is probably the better option. Uh, let's go into the customization line drawing and then it obviously it gives you a host. So pen and paper is probably the closest thing that you can see compared to the AHA video clip. You can probably go through here and pick different ones, but again, all, all of this is, is customizable, like in density and contrast, turn that down or up, it obviously gives me a different look. So that's option number one, that's using the line drawing. And then if we go into the hand drawing, it's very similar, but again, it just gives you these options that's available. And that's that's the cool part about it. More options, the better, right? <laughs> All right, let's go, uh, let's customize that. Filter, hand drawing, hand drawn, not hand drawing. There you go. And here we go, line drawing. So again, it's the same thing. You've got a few more variables here, like the blend and details. I can probably push that down or up, depending on what I'm after. So you can look at the preview window. It's a bit grainy, so I think this, the detail size, we need to tweak it a bit more. In my honest opinion, I thought the line drawing is does a better job in the preview window it looks okay but again like i said more options the better now let's see if we got time for one more oh we do okay great so the last one i'm going to show you is called metallic and i really like this filter and i've actually used this on some of my other projects and basically it is what it says metallic let's go into the customs customizations here we go Okay, so the one I used to, well, the one I used to, the one I like was actually frozen. And I can also tweak this to give it more of a, a look that I'm after, like less shine. Now, I can, I've used this in a few of my other videos on another channel, and I do like it. It does add a bit of flavor to it. And all of these things that I'm showing you today is just giving you options to be more creative with your videos. Always try to make something different that stands out, because... In today's videos, you need to reset everybody's attention every eight seconds, otherwise you start losing your audience. And I'm thinking if you use things like these little filters here and there, this is one way you could basically push a point across just by being a little bit more cre creative. There you go. So there you go, now you've got lots of options to become more creative. And as always, thanks for watching.